again, Rockline returns. I'm Bob Coburn. Your number to call is toll-free from anywhere in North America. Only one number for the one and only Rockline. It's 1-800-344-ROCK. Guns N' Roses is one of the most amazing success stories in recent rock and roll history. Their album, Appetite for Destruction, has already sold over 2.2 million copies and shows no signs of slowing down. In fact, with the third song receiving a lot of airplay, the album is sure to catch fire again. And Rockline welcomes some Guns N' Roses. Izzy, nice to see you. Nice to have you here, Izzy. Hi, man. It's good, it's good to be here. Nice to have you here. Also with us this evening is Slash. Hey. How are you? Hey. And also tonight, Duff. Duff, how are you doing? How are you guys doing? Okay. Doing really great this evening. First thing I want to ask you guys, did you ever think you'd be at 2.2 million and counting? What? <laughs> what Records? Records? <laughs> Records sold, you guys. I don't think we, we really ever uh, thought about, you know, like how many we're going to sell. We just did the record, you know, as best we could and what we wanted to do. And... It, it came out and it's good even a serious, a serious we just like, toured. Did you, know? did you see us sitting there going, "Well, how many records do you think this song?" Yeah, is how many is two point two? It's like ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, well, I can understand that, but you, you had to have thought that you were onto something. But this has to be beyond your no, wildest dreams. No, we never we did. Just, think we, we just never re you really. Huh? We just did what we wanted to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now the other thing I wanted to ask you before we play a song, and this leads into the first song we're going to play, which is "Sweet Child of Mine." This is really a pretty straight-ahead love song it's for a, you guys. It's a great edited version we have here. It's it? an edited version that we're going to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Now I guess Actually, the album is not meat and potatoes, uh, it's like spinach and, yeah. and pork. <laughs> it's some rice yeah. thrown in there. <laughs> All a cart. Now I guess the story goes that Axel, your vocalist, had this poem that he had written and kind of just tucked away and the forgot way, about the it. The way it went was... You, you, tell, you tell us how it All went. Right. How's that? We were sitting around in the living room at this house that we used to live in, and... Um, uh, there was a guitar thing that I made up, that beginning thing, right? And yeah. we were all sitting together. And uh, Axel already had these lyrics. And then Izzy came up with these chorus, and then Duff came up with the bass line. It's very basic as far as that goes. We just all put it together, you know, real fast. And here's how it turned out. Sweet Child of Mine. I'll like be sloppy, sloppy, but, you know, <laughs> on rock line. <laughs> Out of the mind, Guns and Roses on Rockline and the Global Satellite Network. Couple of concert dates for the band quickly with Guns Aerosmith and shows, yeah. in the month of July. <laughs> on the 17th, Hoffman Estates. On the 19th, Richfield, Ohio. The 20th, Wheeling, West Virginia. 22nd, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Dallas, Texas, the 24th. You'll find the band in Bonner Springs, Kansas, the 26th. Ames, Iowa, the 27th. Troy, Wisconsin, the 29th. That's Alpine Valley. And Mears, Michigan, on the 30th at Valve the Lakes Amphitheater. So First now call. I know where we're going. Now, yeah, we now you know where now you're going. Yeah, pack your bags, uh, gentlemen. Did you repeat those for us? <laughs> <laughs> Later. Yeah. First call for you tonight from Charleston, South Is Carolina. It's Pete. We played Pete is listening to 96 Wave in North Charleston. Pete, you're on with Guns N' Roses. Uh, yeah. Um, first of all, I'd like to say um, that I saw your last concert in Lake, uh, Lakeview, San Francisco, or whatever. And we Frisco. Stopped, right? yeah. We played there, yeah. And uh, I had the pleasure of going... Shoreline, Lakeview, Shoreline. Yeah, kind of. okay. I had the pleasure of going up to Slash's room when we were waiting in the lobby. Hey, uh, you better not say anything really bad over the radio. Because <laughs> <laughs> what room? I didn't have a room. Our was attorneys are here listening, you know. Yeah, well... Okay, and, uh, yeah, yeah, what was the question? Okay, this friend of mine in Colorado got this album. It's a double live album called Some Kind of Orange. Uh, it's some kind of a bootleg, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering... Don't buy it. Save your money. <laughs> Well, hell, it's because it's, it's got this song, Shadow of Your Life. Oh, Should no, Shadow of Your None. It's called Shadow of Your Life. used to be called Shadow of Your it Love. <laughs> yeah, I wanted, to, I wanted to find out about that. Do you like that song? I haven't heard it yet. I oh, to well. <laughs> you haven't heard it yet. That's an old song that Izzy wrote uh, some years ago. Yeah, yeah, in a McDonald's, ago. you're right. Did you get your question in there, Pete, or are you yeah, just making a statement? Yeah, what was the question, Pete? <laughs> yeah, that was, that was about it. What was That's the question? It. That's it. He just wanted to call him talk uh, to you, I think. No, the original <laughs> title was actually What's Shadow of Your Love. Name? <laughs> and Axel wrote the lyrics to that no, song. Obviously, you don't want to endorse a bootleg. I hear you have no, some live don't. tracks coming out, what, October, maybe November? Yeah, this is some acoustic stuff coming out, which is yeah. cool. July? Yeah, so there yeah, should be an album with... Uh, it's live because we're all sitting in one room. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on now. We're going to hey, go to uh, see it. Brockville, Five Ontario. Feet. We have Dan on the line listening to Shea 106 in Ottawa. Dan, you're on the rock line. Hey, hey. How's it going? Hey, hey, okay, hey. hey drink some beer, hey. All right, I just want to say Appetite is the most amazing record. It's unbelievable. Appetite. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thank you, dude. That's great. No, no, really, we appreciate that stuff. Okay, my I would have said something else, but I'm on the radio, so I have to say yeah. stuff. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> What's your question, Dan? <laughs> okay, my question is about the song My Michelle. Is that about a real person? It's yeah. some chick. Blow it's a girl. Yeah, she does nice a lot chick, of Nice chick, though. Except for that. <laughs> 
I what? guess that's it. Dan, what? thanks for the call. What do you want? What do you, what do you want? What do you, ah! That's it. <laughs> just want to know if it's about a real girl. And yes, it is. Yes, yeah, real. We have thanks a real for, girl on the line right now. Thanks for calling. Her name is now. Renee thanks. in Harlingen, Texas. She's listening to 99X in Brownsville. Renee, you're on the rock line. Hi, Fuzz and everybody else. <laughs> what am I? Hi, you linoleums. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, my question is to Slash. Uh huh. Um, who are your main influences? And then I have another question after this. Okay, my main influences are Play? Duff, Izzy, and Steve and Axel because if, if you knew these guys, it would be one of those situations where you couldn't be influenced by anybody else because you didn't have enough time, right? <laughs> so I'll give you that five bucks later. Or, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and okay, the other question, Renee. Yeah, what's the other question? What's the other one? Okay, my other question is, how did the band come about? Come it about? Came, we, we just <laughs> met in Hollywood, and, and that was it. And we were the only five guys that I think we could tolerate each other for an extended <laughs> period of time. We all came together. Uh, once, <laughs> once we all came together once, and we said, "Okay." Oh, so we oh, God, I was <laughs> oh my, was Renee! Thanks for the call. We got a time out coming, then we'll welcome you to the jungle and have more with Guns and Roses. <laughs> welcome to the jungle, Guns and Roses on Rockline right? on the Global Satellite Network. Yeah, We're going to talk with uh, <laughs> Kim. And... <laughs> 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 calm, calm down, boys. Calm down. We have Kim on the line in Davenport, Iowa. She's listening to 97X, serving the Quad Cities. Hi there, Kim. Like God's gift to rock and roll. God's okay, gift. I just want you to know that. God doesn't That's make those heavy. things. I don't think he believes in this thing. Um, I'm striper. I'm sorry, make you guys and everything. You guys weren't, didn't come with Iron Maiden. I'm glad to hear you guys are coming to AIM. Coming where? So I'll be there then. But I wanted to know how you guys got involved in the Clint Eastwood movie. Um. We were asked somehow. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> supposedly, God's supposedly, God's gift. Supposedly, Clint heard the record. I, I kind of doubt it personally, but no, he said great album. Great album. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, he uh, flew us up to San Francisco a couple times. We uh, <laughs> acted in the movie. We we like stood there and they put a camera on us. And barf bag here uh, to go, please. So yeah, um, it just it just came about for some reason we actually really don't know about, but. We're in it. There you go, Kim. Thanks for your call. Thanks. We're going to talk now to Tracy in Reno, Nevada, listening to 105.7 KOZZ. Tracy, you're on with Guns N' Roses. Hi. Hi. Hey. Hey. Um, I'd like to know, in your own words, describe you your music, because a lot of people get the wrong impression. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean the wrong impression? Well, I don't know. Just There's a lot of people out there that hear that. Which? Stepping on vocals again. All right. There's a lot of people out there that just, they don't know if it's metal. It's just a rock and roll it's music, band, you know? Man, what do you want? You guys are real good. You're my favorite band. Thank you. Yeah, that's cool. That's no, cool. we're just a rock and roll band, seriously. But, and, um, what's the motive behind, um, my film? <laughs> the motive? Uh -huh. The motive? The song or the, uh... The motive was to, um, be oh, like... God. Heavy. What? Tracy, um, listen, it's just about, yeah. it's about, it's, just it's enjoy very, it, you know, just enjoy it. It's it very, just a song that we wrote about a situation. Yeah, it's yeah. very simple. It's about a friend of ours, you know, who, uh, who, uh, these, these heavy. things happened <laughs> in her life. You know, her dad was this and her mom was that, who was no more. And, yeah, I mean, and she was, you know, it's just a friend of ours. So there's no real motive, is there? I, yeah, it's, 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 it's some like chick record. we've known for like a really long time and she's I really cool. Heard, you know. And uh, she's a good friend of ours, and she's gone through hell, you know, gone through hell with with drugs and stuff. And it's just a real life situation, you know. I think she's writing a book this year called uh, Me Michelle. <laughs> Me Michelle. There you go, Tracy. I'm glad you had a chance to talk with the band tonight. We got to take a break. We'll be back in just one moment. Your number's toll free from anywhere in North America. One eight hundred three four four Rock. It's Rock Line. Welcome back to Rockline. We're with Guns N' Roses right now. Some other concert dates with Aerosmith. And these are all in the month of August. Cincinnati the 1st, Indianapolis the 2nd, Philly the 4th, followed by date in Saratoga, Sp uh, Saratoga Springs, New York, in the 6th, Middletown, New York the 7th, Weedsport the 9th, that's also New York, Clarkston, Michigan the 11th through the 13th, that's Pine Knob, Giants Stadium, East Rutherford the 16th, Columbia, Maryland the 17th at Meriwether Post, and Mansfield, Mass. for the Boston area, Great Woods 24th through the 26th. We got some rock and roll by Guns N' Roses right now. This is Paradise City on Rockline and the Global Satellite Network. Paradise City, the name of that, Guns N' Roses on Rockline and the Global Satellite Network. Time for a couple oh, more calls from Lansing, Kansas. Our first, it's Jenny, a listener of KY102 and KC. Hi, Jenny. Hi, I think you guys are really great. 
And I was wondering, um, how has Axel recovered from his illness? He's fine. <laughs> no, we he played, we played he's fine. We just played two gigs in Phoenix. And he had what? Laryngitis or something? Mm, Hemophilia. Yeah. Like, you know, one of those things that singers get, you know, it's natural, yeah, sure. I mean, right? a guy can't, a guy <laughs> can't go... It down, yeah. We've been on the road for almost swollen. a year, so... <laughs> a guy can't go around screaming every night like he does, you know, the guy puts out, you know, it's like... I think I, he's I've a... Oh, I, I'm sorry, I was stepping <laughs> I I've just had people tell me, uh, you know, from gigs after the gig, how, how you know, you know, how does he do that? So, you know, the guy cannot go a whole tour and, you know, with like... Yeah, yeah, singing that way, yeah, you know. Seriously, we've I been on the we've been on the road for ages. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. like you're on the road for a long time, and not too many yeah, people tour almost this a long. Year. Mm -hmm. We've been on the road since last summer, so it's like the kind of thing where you you're at the mercy of the other band's, you know, schedule. And so if it's like day in, day out, day in, day out, then you know something you have to do with. Where's you at after a while, Jenny? Thanks for the call. Let's Axel's move on doing to well, Jenny. Uh, to Davenport, Iowa. We're going to talk to Laurie, listening to 97X. You know. Laurie, you're on the show. Oh, hi. I think you guys are really great, and especially Axel. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. I'm sure you appreciate it. What's that? The rest of the band, too? Thank you. Um, but <laughs> my question was, um, do you guys enjoy making videos, or is it a pain? It's a pain. Pain. Uh, <laughs> enjoyment. Yeah. It's a pain. It's like the 12 finished hours product's of playing the same song yeah. over and over again. But, you know, the I mean, the after the fact. I'm sorry. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> It's, it's actually yeah, pretty, right? it for, for, I think, it's, it's kind of boring. It's really pretty boring. <laughs> but the coffee and vodkas are great. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, Larry, like... thanks for calling. Thanks to everybody for listening and calling. Our address, if you want it, is P.O. Box 4383, Hollywood, California, 90078. Next week, John Entwistle from The Who, and then coming soon, The Moody Blues, and a whole lot more, as Rockline gives you brand new shows all summer long. Thanks to Tony Mandich of Atlantic Records, to Monte Carlos and Howard Gelman of Public Radio KQED in San Francisco for their hospitality and their help with Robin Trower. Also, thanks to Alan Niven and everybody at Geffen Records, to the Guitar Center in Hollywood, and to Mike Kelly for his help tonight. So thanks to Robin Trower, obviously, and also thanks to uh, to you guys, to Izzy and Duff and Slice. Hey, thanks for being hey, here. Hey, we had a great time. Here. All right, good luck on the tour with Aerosmith. I'm BC, right. and I'll right, be seeing you. Yeah.